What's going on guys? Now on this channel, we've covered many different AI agents that can control your browser and do specific tasks. We've covered Open Interpreter, we've covered Agent E, we've covered Open Operator, we've covered Agent Q, we've covered Open Macro. The list goes on and on. And then recently, most of you guys already know that OpenAI released Open Interpreter. And this of course is an agent that can use its own browser to perform tasks for you. And it's pretty impressive, but unfortunately it is currently currently on OpenAI's pro plan only. So if you want to spend $200 a month, then you could access this. But if not, you may want to use one of the open source free versions, which I'm going to show you in today's video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at browser use. This is an AI agent that will be able to control your browser. Now, the beauty about browser use is it isn't $200 a month. And I'm going to show you how you can set it up in today's video. Let's dive right into it. All right, guys, so for taking a look at the browser use website, first off, I just want to point out that they have founder mode and VC mode here, which is kind of funny that they're referencing that. Um, but if we go ahead and look at the web agent accuracy, we can see browser use right here um, compared to some of the different ones, runner age, computer use, web voyager, operator, and it's doing pretty damn good. And if you go to the website, you can see a more technical breakdown right here, but we're going to dive into the actual tool. So first things first, they do have a cloud hosted version, but it is 30 bucks a month. So we're not going to be taking a look at this. Um, we're going to be taking a look at their open source version, MIT license, self-hosted, full library access, all core features. Some of these features include vision plus HTML extraction, multi-tab management, element tracking, custom actions, self-correcting, any LLM support. So you can use this with DeepSeek, OpenAI, Anthropic, the list goes on and on. Now, all links I cover in today's video will be linked down below. So you can go over to their repo right here where we're going to get started and also check out their help section in their docs, which I'll leave down below. And we're going to go to the quick start section. So the way we're going to get started is you're going to copy this repo URL and we're going to start by running git clone and then pasting in that repo URL, depending on where we want to clone it. Then we're going to change directory into browser use. And then we're going to open it up in VS Code or Cursor. So I opened it up in Cursor. So as you can see, I have browser use opened up in our terminal. Now I'm going to go check out that docs section and we're going to do a few different things. So first things first, you're going to want to download UV if you don't already have it. So simply go here, click on this to actually download UV if you don't already have it on your system. And you're going to run UV V E N V and then dash dash Python. So this is going to set up a virtual environment and then you're going to run either source right here or dot V E N V right here on windows. So if you're on Mac or Linux, you run this on windows, you run this to activate the virtual environment. Once you do that, you're going to run UV pip install browser dash use to install all the dependencies. And then you're going to install playwright by just simply running playwright install. So you can see here that I activated it. Then I ran browser use right here to install all the different dependencies. And then right here, I'm installing playwright. Now in the doc section, they go over actually how to create an agent right here. So you can see different examples on how to create a basic agent, how to set up your LLM API key. So you're going to want to make a copy of this .env.example file, and then you're going to want to paste in your OpenAI API key, your Anthropic API key. And over here, if we go to supported models, you'll also see that there are other supported models like Azure, Gemini, DeepSeek right here. And you simply just add in DeepSeek underscore API key right here, paste in your API key if you want to use DeepSeek, like DeepSeek V3, DeepSeek R1. You can also use Oloma, so you could use any single open source LLM. And then coming soon ones is Grok, GitHub, and Fine Tune Models. So they're, so they're improving this open source project, which is really nice to see. Now, if you're building something out for your custom use, I would definitely, like I said, recommend checking out the docs because it shows you things like different agent settings, best practices, browser settings, connecting to your browser, your output format, system prompts, sensitive data, custom functions, observability, a bunch of different stuff. So definitely check that out. But just to show you some real world examples of how to actually use browser use, we can actually leverage their repo right here because they have a bunch of different examples, which will give you a really good um, starting point to play around with this, get a feel for it, and then you can customize it for your specific use case. 
Also, too, I would recommend opening this up in something like Cursor, uh, AI IDE of your choice. So you could go over here to the chat right here. You could chat like so, and you could ask it specific questions or build Composer and build out specific agents for you. Really good thing, too, is they also have their docs right here. So you could leverage all this information right here, such as local setup, observability, customize right here. So agent settings, browser settings, these are all uh, markdown files. So you could easily plug this in, uh, reference this right here in cursor right here. So we got browser agent, agent settings, all this good stuff, and then easily get it to build you specific agents for your custom use case. So I recommend referencing the docs here as well as potentially even different examples. So how do you actually go ahead and run browser use? Well, let's go to our first example. So I'm going to go over to simple.py right here. So we're going to run Python and then simple.py and we're going to click enter. And you're going to see here the task is find the founders of browser use and draft them a short personalized message. And you can see here we're using OpenAI's GPT-4.0. Um, we can see the different settings right here, like the temperature. We're loading the environment file. We can see the agent. And let's go ahead and look. And now it's searching for founders of browser use. We can see that it's getting a vision of all these different elements on the page here, which is really cool that it shows you this visual right here. So you can see um, this is the task. So we can see all the different steps it took. Step one. So starting to find the founders of browser use and draft a message. Next goal is search for the founders of browser use on Google. Action one out of one. Eval success found the information of the founders of browser use. And now it's adding it to its memory right here. So Magnus Muller and Gregor Zunick. Next goal, draft a personalized message to these founders. And then boom, you can see our message right here. So congratulations on your success with browser use. Dear Magnus and Gregor, I hope this message finds you well. Blah, 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 blah. Best regards, your name. So task completed successfully created gif at agent underscore history dot gif. So this is another really cool thing it does. If we go over here to agent dot history dot gif, we can see a gif of our specific task. So find the founders of browser use. So step one, search for the founders, draft a personalized message in step two, and then boom. So pretty straightforward and simple. Now let's go ahead and do another one. So this time I'm going to use this one, which is Python multiple agents same browser.py and we're going to run this okay so we can see logging setup okay so we can see for this one it's actually asking us for a task so i'm going to go ahead and enter a task here okay so here's our task go to youtube search josh polcock and find out how many subscribers he has then craft a personalized outreach email to ask him to hire me to be his video editor and reference specific stuff from the titles of some of his most recent videos let's go ahead and send this Okay, so now we can see step one, open tab YouTube. So if we go here, we can see that it opened up YouTube. All right now it's clicking on the element and it typed in Josh Pocock right here. Okay, now it clicked on search. So it's actually loading up Josh Pocock. Now it's analyzing the page again. Okay, and boom, we got our task completed here. So let's go ahead and take a look. So we can see that it grabs some of these titles right here. This one mentioning DeepSeek R1 and ADAN. This one is about site brew right here. So subject, elevate your video content with professional video editing. Hi, Josh. I hope this message finds you well. I'm reaching out to express my admiration for your exceptional work, especially your recent videos like build no code AI agents with DeepSeek R1 and ADAN. Are you tired of pouring thousands of dollars into appointment setters only to watch leads slip away? Imagine having a team of elite sales agents booking qualified appointments for you around the clock. No more wasted time on training, no more frustration with performance, and no more draining your budget on inconsistent and expensive call centers. Introducing Strive agents ai powered appointment setters that work 24 7 never get tired and book appointments while you sleep trained on thousands of successful conversations our ai agents outperform human teams at just one tenth of the cost join the ranks of businesses that doubled their appointments and booking rates in just a matter of weeks don't get left behind in the ai revolution visit strideagents.com now and transform your entire sales process with cutting edge ai technology it's time to accelerate your stride with ai agents and new site brew ai coding agent v0 your insightful content 
from your community of 16.5k subscribers is truly inspiring. I specialize in video editing and believe I could enhance your visual storytelling of your content. My personal experience aligns with your niche and I'm eager to help your channel grow further. I would love the opportunity to discuss how I can contribute to your future projects. Please let me know a convenient time for us to connect. Looking forward to an opportunity for us to work together. Warm regards, blank. All right, so keep in mind, this was a very basic prompt. Like you could personalize this like and make it very specific and feed this information. Like if I was using this in a real world production scenario, I would give it a lot more context and build a more custom agent. But I hope that this kind of sparks some creativity for you guys. As you can see, there's a bunch of different options here, like validate output, sensitive data, results processing. We got a planner agent right here. So if we check the planner out, you can see that it's referencing DeepSeek right here. So DeepSeek API. So what you would want to do is simply just add this DeepSeek API into your dot environment file right here. And then we just simply change our task right here to a specific task, like search Josh Pocock and tell me what he does and then run Python planner.py. Now you can see it's either going to use DeepSeek API key right here for a DeepSeek model or it's going to use O3 mini. So we're using a reasoning model right here and you can see the actual reasoning right here. So the current browser state is minimal with an empty page. Next steps, determine the intended web page or content to, to load. And I'm not going to go through this whole entire one, but you can see here the actual reasoning right here. So you can see the thinking process and everything like that. So the current state provides no interactive content, only an empty blank page. The next step is to do so and so. So you go ahead and run these, test this out. You can see download file right here. You can see custom functions, browser. You can see different use cases like CAPTCHA, check appointments, find and apply to jobs online coding agent right here, post on Twitter, scrolling page, shopping, the list goes on and on. So that's pretty much it for this video guys on browser use. Let me know down below if you've been trying different AI agents that are browsing the web like OpenAI's Open Operator or Agent Q, Agent E or browser use. Let me know which one of these is your favorite and let me know what you think about browser use guys in the comments down below. If you're new to the channel, we upload videos all the time on AI, AI agents, AI coding, marketing sales, business growth so if you like that type of content you got some value here make sure to like the video comment down below and subscribe to stay up to date with the uploads also too guys if you haven't already joined our free facebook group and discord channel stridecommunity.com i'll leave a link down below for that and then also too guys you're definitely going to want to check out our stride ai academy for behind the scenes resources templates tools trainings etc that i don't post here on youtube and then also too, guys, if you run a business and you need help implementing AI agents into your business, or if you want coaching and training on how to actually sell these AI agents to other business owners and make two to 10 K plus, then book a call down below at executivestride.com forward slash apply. And we can see if it's a potential fit to work together or not. Other than that, guys, I will see you in the next video. Keep hustling, keep grinding. And of course, guys, accelerate your stride. Take care.